So hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to run uh, the PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation 1 uh, with RetroArch and um, on my last video I showed you how to uh, run RetroArch um, if you haven't watched that video I'll leave it in the video description so you can um, so you can see it but today I'm just gonna show you how to run the PlayStation 1 on RetroArch so this is the RetroArch uh, folder where I put my RetroArch emulator and this is where I put uh, the PlayStation 1 games so I'm going to uh, basically put the BIOS for the PlayStation 1 in the systems folder I'm not really sure which which ones work, but um, I'm just gonna put all of them in there. And one of them should work. Now I'm gonna start retro arc. Okay, I'm gonna put it in to full screen. And if you want to get out of full screen, it's F1, the F1 key. Alt, let me, Alt F, I'm sorry. That will get you out of full screen, so it's Alt F. So, to go back into full, full screen, it's Alt F. And go to Window, and go here. I'm going to go to import content. Wait, first I'm going to go to load core. I'm going to go to download core. And I'm going to look for Sony PlayStation 1. There's several, there's different ones. But I prefer this one. You could pick pick Beetle if you want, but this is what I prefer. So now it's installed and readied. Um, what I need to do now is I need to import the games. You go to scan directory and locate the drive and the directory where the games are at. For me, it's here. So I'm going to go to scan this directory. It's going to scan all the games in the directory. And I'm going to go back, 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 back. And as you can see, the PlayStation is right there. So I'm going to select the game. Okay, I'm going to select that and I'm going to run it. Select the emulator, run. It appears to be working. Um, all the PlayStation games don't work, so you may have to use different. PlayStation emulators, but for this game it works. Marco! Listen, one, start!
I'm going to run another game. So I'm going to run this. And there's another way to load games. You could just go here. Load content. Go to. Whoops. Go back. Parent directory. Parent. Go back. Um, if I want to load the games. Like manually. Then I can do that as well. So it's the C U E file. Coup d'etat broke out in the military corps' general area code NAP-2700. They saw an opportunity during a time when their leaders were away from the country on a diplomatic mission. After the forces occupied the center of administration, they seized control of important facilities in each district. They are expanding their influence while strengthening their fighting power. Their military capabilities include air and sea forces. It has also been confirmed that they are in possession of extra-powerful cruise missiles. To respond to the rebel forces, the military corps' headquarters made a decision to use the special tactical fighter squadron Scarface, which consists of you and fellow pilots. We want you to go on this mission and suppress the coup d'etat immediately. You will receive all-out support from our military corps, full information regarding the rebels, full cooperation through our intelligence division, and military supplies. The situation is tense, and there is no time to waste. Take on this mission immediately. That is all.
Okay, that ran. That's basically it to exit. Uh, press escape twice. That's all you have to do to run uh, the PlayStation emulator on uh, RetroArch. Okay, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS1975 signing out.